All right, in this example, let's use nodal analysis to solve for V0 in this circuit. The thing that is different about this circuit from some of the other examples is that we have a current controlled voltage source. And so we're going to have to um, uh, do a little bit extra algebra to figure out how this works in our circuit. Okay, so the first thing that we'll do is we'll select our ground node and then we will label our uh, voltages, our node voltages. So we have V, uh, oops, we already have V0 in the drawing, right? So I'll use V1 and then V2 and V3. Uh, notice that this node right here is, in this case, is V0 uh, because of where we chose our ground to be. Um, so what I would suggest that we do in this situation is rather than calculating the node voltage at V1, at V0, that we actually uh, sort of disregard V0 until the end and we can combine then the 2k resistor and the 4k resistor and then we'll end up with equations with one less unknown then when we uh, are done doing nodal analysis we'll back solve for um, the current here this we'll call this current i uh, i naught okay and so we'll back solve for current i naught and then solve for v0 okay so let's look at how this works um, so V1 is simple because V1 doesn't really require um, a KCL equation. V1 is negative 6 volts. Uh, and now when we come to do the um, V2 and V3, we see that we can't solve them because we don't have any way to express the current in here. So we're going to have to use the supernode idea to solve this one. So we'll draw a supernode like this. And we'll solve for that one. Now, I forgot a step here. Uh, we need to assign our um, current directions. So let me go ahead and do that now. Um, This. Oops, I probably want to make the brush just a little bigger. Plus, minus, uh, because of this IX here, which we'll need later on, we'll um, make sure that this follows the passive sign convention for that IX. Okay, and we'll set these other two up like this so that the current makes sense given the direction of the voltage here at V0. Okay, so we have a volts, we have a current coming in, we have a current going out, we have a current coming in here, and we have a current going out there. So we'll go from left to right. Uh, so KCL at the supernode. And that's going to be V1 minus V2. over 12k and then this one here is going out so there's a minus sign here and it's going to be V2 over 4k up here this is just 2 over k and that's positive because it's going in and this one's leaving so we'll put a negative sign in front of it and remember that we're gonna sort of ignore V naught for now and then we can just have V3 over 2k plus 4k we'll combine those resistors and so that'll be 6k and that equals 0 um, okay so 
uh, we have an auxiliary equation that will always uh, appear from the um, whenever we have a supernode and our equation is that V2 minus V3 oops I got that backwards right higher potential is here because of this polarity that we've been given so it's V3 minus V2 equals 2000 IX okay so we have three equations but we have four unknowns because we've introduced this IX well this IX is also right here in the circuit and so we can now rewrite IX in terms of uh, voltages and resistances so remember that IX equals V2 over 4k so now let's write this equation in uh, new terms and we'll end up with uh, V3 equaling uh, 3 halves of V2 when you uh, when you combine that so now we have three equations and three unknowns so now we can solve this system of equations rather than doing all the algebra out uh, let's just step over into Mathematica and uh, let me do this so that we have access to this information. We'll just carry it over right into Mathematica. Okay, so here I've created a variable uh, and I've uh, told this equation to solve our system of equations. So we had V1 equaling negative 6 and then we have uh, this equation here and then we have uh, this equation here that I just rewrote uh, a little bit differently um, set it equal to zero okay and that will solve all of our node voltages however that's not what we were asked to solve right we were asked to solve for V0 well uh, to solve for V0 we'll need to calculate what I naught is so once we've calculated the voltages well we know that I naught must equal uh, V3 divided by the resistance in this to in this whole branch okay because the current is the same here as it is here so if we we can now say that I naught is equal to V3 over 6k and then we also can say that V0 which equals IR is equal to I0 times 4k okay and so let's um, figure out how to write that into Mathematica and that's the reason why <clears throat> when I wrote this I kept this uh, I created this variable again because I'm actually going to reuse the solution from this problem um, to solve another problem okay so what we'll do is we'll create two equations and we'll put them in a list okay so our first equation was I um, I naught is equal to V3 and to do the sub uh, these little sub values here you just do control uh, control mi uh, minus uh, so it's V3 and then control forward slash to do a oops to do a fraction over 6k and we'll separate that by a comma that's one of our equations and the other one was that V naught 
was equal to i naught times 4k. Okay, and so now we can shift enter and solve uh, both of these equations. Um, and you'll see that here it solved it nicely. This one, it didn't solve it correctly. The reason for that is that I need to tell this list to use the values obtained in um, in this first part of the equation. That's why I had the um, variable sol that I created. So to do that we'll just use forward slash period and then type in sol and we can get our values. Now if you want to get uh, decimal values we could just put uh, forward slash forward slash n in at the end of both of these and it will give us our values in um, in a decimal format and so you can see that the value here for the voltage is 2.57 volts